Welcome to another Sign Space tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add seating and animation to a piece of furniture and upload it to your region or upload it with your region. Here is an avatar sitting comfortably in a chair. And when you stand up, you can see these familiar action tags. This tells you that there is a place for you to sit in this chair. So I'm going to show you now how to do that. This tutorial builds on the basic furniture construction tutorial that um, showed you how to prepare a piece of furniture to upload as a virtual good with your region or by itself as a piece of furniture to place on a floor. You should have by now gotten the zip file from the wiki, the room furniture samples, and in this furniture sample folder, there are models and there are also materials. This is everything you need to work with for most of the furniture tutorials that I will be taking you through. This model is my leather chair. It is textured in the way that I showed you how to texture in the basic furniture tutorial. There's a leather chair mat material that is in the materials folder. And that material accepts an albedo texture and a normal map. Just to let you know what the settings are, if you want to duplicate those, I have a little bit of metallic, a little more smoothness. The normal map is turned way down so that there's a softness about the leather so it looks like at least like you can sit in it. And then the tiling of both the albedo and the normal are three and three. This gives it that leather look. I have also added to this leather chair a mesh collider. And the reason that I've added a mesh collider is because a box collider would cover the entire surface, including the area that you need to let an avatar into. And so for this particular chair, I added a mesh collider. That collider works very well with the room furniture component. If you remember, I showed you how to use that. It's the collider as well as a box collider does. This is the chair that's been uploaded and this is the one that the avatar was sitting in. There's something additional that I have added to this chair, however, and that is a chair seat improved or a sit position, a seat position. It's actually called when you search for it. And what this component does is it allows you to add an animation to your piece of furniture. And this includes any piece of furniture. Chairs are just the most common. It also allows you to add gender specific overrides or NPC animations. These we're going to go through in another tutorial. For today, I'm going to show you how to add and position this seat improve component. It's a little bit more complicated than it looks. And then I'm going to show you one example of what you can do with the events um, areas in that component. Now, in your zip file from the wiki, in the samples folder, there is what we call a simple chair. And that is basically the same chair it's a little bit larger and before you do anything else, you might want to resize it a little bit. And it's hard to tell how much to resize it because you don't know the size of your avatars. So I'm going to look at it in relation to this other chair. It's not too much bigger, just a tiny bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this leather chair and the scale for the first section is 194. 
So I'm going to rescale this one and I'm just going to watch the first one and go down to about 194. There we go. That's close enough. You can get exacting if you want to, but for our purposes today, um, I'm not going to worry about exactitude too terribly much. Now you can see that this simple chair is the child object of the empty, and I've shown you how to do that before. When you add a seat improved or animations, the animation component to an object, you'll want to wait to add it to the empty until you've got the seating positioned the way that you want it. And the reason for that is that the rotation and the scale, particularly the rotation, is in relation to the parent object. So if we look at this empty, the blue arrows pointing forward, we want the chair arrow to also point forward, and we want the seat animation to also point forward so that you're actually sitting in the chair and not turned around backwards. This one, if we look carefully, is turning the blue arrows pointing forward, which is good, and it is turned at 90 degrees, just like it was in the last tutorial. So far, so good. Now, I am going to do the same thing that I've done here. I'm going to add an empty, and what I always do when I add an empty, this is going to be a sit position. and it's actually going to hold the seating component. However, I need to make sure that this is in relation to the chair at the same rotation, and that the scale, believe it or not, needs to be one, one, and one. The rotation can stay the same because then the component will be rotated somewhat correctly, but the scale if the scale is of the same scale as the chair, then the animation itself will be stretched. And you can test that out if you want to. If your animation is stretched, just pull the empty up out of your object and scale it to 111. And then you can bring it back in. Now you'll notice that the rotation is zero and the scale is quite a bit smaller. And that's not intuitive, but let's just go with that for a second. Now, in the sit position empty, we're going to add a component called seat position. And you can see that the rectangles are in good shape. It doesn't look stretched, but it isn't rotated correctly. We can take care of that very quickly. We're going to go into rotation just pull this up and once you see which of the components which of the axes is moving well that's the one that we're going to make at 90 degrees and then if we look to the side we can see well it's pretty well in the chair now we don't know exactly where we're going to need to move it to not a, not until we add the animation this animation is looped. Almost all animations when we sit are looped, and this is basically what it looks like. So we're going to go back to our sit position, and we're going to pull this in here, and there he looks like the size of an avi, and he looks like not stretched in any way, but of course it's far too low. So we're going to pull this up right about to there. Now I'm going to show you where I positioned the actual uh, sit position in relation to the chair by using the position of this sit position in the leather chair. And that's just to save us some time. It takes a lot of tweaking and a lot of uh, micro positioning to get the uh, animation seat exactly where you want it to, particularly if your animation is shaped 
to the object itself. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at the position 000877 and I'm going to go to this sit position and I'm going to pull it up. Just about to there, so it looks about the same. Okay. Now, this one also is rotated just slightly in the Y axis and the Z axis, and that's because We're going to turn him just a little bit. Oh, just to uh, allow him to lean back a little bit. And I think this one. Yeah, this one's turned down just a little bit. And then we're going to pull him forward just a little bit. Now, this isn't perfect. And you will probably find that you're going to need to move it here and there quite often. One thing you can do to test your position is to go into play mode. This isn't an exacting way to do it, but you do get a good idea of where your seating is going to be. I'm going to show you a little uh, tip here as well to help you because the action tag doesn't appear, but the hand changes. And it'll change here as well. So we're going to sit down, and because the camera, it's a little bit hard to move the camera. In fact, we can't move it really up and down. We just get an idea of where our avatar is positioned, and that actually looks pretty good. He might need to come forward a little bit. You can see his back is into the cushion. And there's two ways that we can do that. We can go into scene view, go into sit position and highlight sit position, and then go into our transform tool. And while we are in game mode, play mode, we can pull the seat forward until our avatar is resting comfortably on it, and then we just take note of the position. And then we can see him move right in the world. Okay, so once your sit is where you want it to be, then you can work on your chair. You can add to empty in the same way that you did in the last tutorial. And then you add the room furniture component to the empty. We've added a mesh collider. And that's going to take the place of the box collider that we used for the table. And that's you pull that into here. And then add your virtual goods once you've textured it tinted it, however you want to do it, and then you upload it. One of the things that we did this time that was kind of fun is that we used the screenshotter tool. This is a nice tool that will take a screenshot of your virtual good once you've made it a prefab. So here's our prefab. Our chair looks very nice, nice leather chair. And we go up to File, up here to the top left, save the scene that we're in, click on the prefab. I'm going to reduce the inspector there. And then here where it says Take Screenshots, I'm going to click that button. And, oh, we got some new images this time. That's very nice. And what it does is it adds the screenshots. This one and this one are new. 
and it also adds those icons to your virtual good and then you can just upload it it saves a lot of time going into um, preview or even uh, uploading sending your um, virtual good to the live server and then having to take screenshots this is makes it makes it quite a bit nicer so we're going to go back into the work scene where our chairs are and we're going to look again at the chair that we have uploaded and here's the avatar in that chair and you can see that it fits him pretty well his back is leaning against it his heel just barely touches the floor and when you click leave he comes out of it now if you have a smaller avatar you might run into just a little bit of trouble if you're using a unisex animation you can see here the female avatar is a little bit shorter and so her hand is through the fabric and sometimes it's just a matter of compromising as far as the positioning of the seat but also what you can do is in the new edit room system you can actually go into the chair component and the sit position component and you can sometimes you might be able to move that's the chair sit you might be able to move the actual seating component or if we can't now perhaps eventually we'll be able to that's just something to check out and see if it works for you. Let's try that and see if it helped. It did. If you pull that tag up just a little bit, you can see now that her hand is up out of the chair. And although this one is hovering a little bit more, it looks a little more comfortable. Like maybe she's about to stand up or maybe she's about to move and adjust her position. Now, I do want to show you one more part of the seat position component. This is a different scene that I have worked on and I just want to show you this particular pose. This is basically the same sit pose but in this one I didn't do any adjustments. Everyone is sitting at attention here just listening. Now in the seat improved script or the seat position component down at the bottom there are events and down you can see I put something on on player sit and on player stand up now without going into every part of this component basically what happens is when the player sits down then it activates something here that's called a focus camera and I'll show you that that's my focus camera right here and what this focus camera activates and does is to focus on this item right here which is called the media backing board and that's the, basically the browser. I've got people watching a browser, surfing the net, watching YouTube videos from the browser and then when the avatar stands up the focus camera deactivates and it deactivates from the media backing board. Now I'm going to show you just briefly how this works and there are so many choices in the events that you can add to a component like this that I think I'll, I'll go through them in another tutorial because we could do we could spend an hour just on a few of the events themselves but for right now I just want to show you an example of something you can do with this seating component and that is that when a person sits down you can have that avatar focus on something and this is great either for watching movies uh, or for a classroom for training sessions uh, possibly for a game um, just depends on what you want to do with it all right now I'm gonna look for the hand again there's my hand 
Okay, and you see how the camera position moves and focuses right on the whole of this browser. That's what the event does. And it, although, and it activates the focus camera, not that the focus camera actually becomes activated, but it takes charge of the focus of the avatar. And then when the avatar either looks away or stands up, the camera moves back to where it was behind the avatar. So that's just an example of something else that you can do with the seating, um, with the seat position component. Actually, there's quite a lot of things you can do, and you can add seating or any kind of an animation, a dance, a lecture, um, you can add a DJ animation in front of a microphone or a singing animation in front of a microphone. And you can have that animation in this seat position component, just like sitting down. So there you have it. How to add an animation to a furniture item. I hope you have enjoyed this and happy building. We'll see you next time.